Hi, what's up guys? Today I, I will be unboxing my newly sent package from Amazon. Over here I have a slim folio case from Anchor. Today I will be reviewing the Anchor Grace Super Slim Folio Case for the iPad Mini. Taking out the case from the box. On the box there are some descriptions. It's made from a durable material with lightweight, stylish design. They have easy access to all the buttons and the features of the iPad mini. We can see an anchor logo imprinted on the case. The initial feel of this leather is very nice. I almost thought it was a real leather. And I realized that anchor actually have very fine stitches. I think it's important to have very fine stitches because it preserves the quality of the case and prevents the case from getting wear and tear. I used to have a case that they, they have poor stitches so the case actually worn out after maybe two months. But for Anchor Grace, I don't think it's a problem because they have very fine stitches. They give a complimentary bookmark that further shows you that um, Anchor is a, a Amazon partner taking out the styrofoam now I will go through the interior feel of the case this is a velvet material that feels very very soft I love velvet material because not only I love the soft feeling I also love the extra grip it gives me while holding on to the case because as you all know, I'm a gamer. Let me insert the iPad mini into the case. The installation is very easy. We have here we have four lips here. You just push the iPad mini into the front two four lips and push your downwards pressure and the iPad mini is securely in place. If you want it to close in a folio, you just push an additional pressure at the front cover and the iPad mini is perfectly in place to act as a folio case. Now I will look at the cutouts of the, the case. There's accessibility to the earphone ports, the on off buttons, the silent switch, the volume controls, the speaker ports however one of the speaker ports is covered I would like anchor maybe to shift the lips to more to the right or have an additional lips on the left and of course the lightning pin connector at the back here we have a opening for the camera so that you can take videos or camera or photos from this cutouts Another additional point that I I hope this case have is it actually could offer more protection. I think you should have more protection over here and over here in case if someone were to drop the iPad mini here and it, it will scratch the iPad mini at this corner. Let us look at how this case could actually be transformed into a stand. You have grooves here to ensure where the iPad mini you want to lay. However, I realized that instead of a dual stand, it can be a multi-angle stand. You need not put the iPad mini at the groove. So I could have a position in this way. That's idea for face timing or, or viewing of video. Or you can insert it into the first groove over here in a more in a landscape position or the second groove or you can make it all the way behind which is more ideal for replying an email or typing a letter Another point to note that what this case doesn't have is a sleep and awake function. 
you realize when you close the case it does not slip the case, the the iPad mini however this is not a problem for me because I can manually open or close the iPad mini hope you enjoy this review and do visit us at www.ipadcasereview.com and do subscribe like our channel Cheers guys